Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Minecraft Monday! In today's video we are going to be doing something a little different. Normally we would do a mod review, but in today's video we are going to go over all of the features that the new 1.21 update brings to Minecraft. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Starting off with our first chest on the left side right here, which is going to be the new copper block. So, Copper, um, I'm not the biggest fan of copper, doesn't really have any function, but now we have the chiseled copper block, the copper grate block, the copper bulb, the copper door, and the, co the copper trap door. These look absolutely insane. Look, so this is the normal copper block. Um, we have the grates right here, um, the chiseled ones right here, and then also the light bulbs right here. But the cool thing about these light bulbs is that they're well, they actually change um, the more oxidized they get. So all of these also have like the weird greenish version. But the light bulb actually changes its light level based on this oxidization. So that's actually really cool in my opinion. Also, the copper door and the copper trap door, they don't work like the iron door and the iron trap door. These ones just work like normal doors. Um, you can open them and close them. And it's just, yeah, like... I really like that they finally added a new like metallic door into Minecraft. Moving on, we have the new tough block variants. We actually have them right here already. We have the polished tough, the tough bricks, the chiseled tough bricks, and the chiseled tough. Um, all of these also have um, stairs and walls. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Next up, we have the new tough block variants. Look at this. Tough was back in the day before 1.21. Um, a really ugly block, but now we have polished stuff, tough bricks, chiseled tough bricks, and chiseled tough. Um, the bricks actually have stairs, slabs, and walls, and the polished polished tough also has stairs, slabs, and walls. Uh, these don't, but yeah, they're just like for decoration, but they do look really cool. Okay, those are all the uh, like boring blocks out of the way. Now we have the new breeze mop, which looks really cool. Um, we're gonna take the drops as well. Um, let's place it down right here. Look at this, it's so cool. It's like a blaze, but then the new version of it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to um, equip our armor and we are going to fight this monster. Okay, let's go into survival mode. Okay, let's see this. So, the breeze will actually only spawn in trial chambers. Why, uh, why do I only have three and a half hearts? Oh my god. Oh my god. I should have healed. Well, its projectiles actually don't do damage. They just throw you into the air. And when you get thrown into the air, you will actually take some fall damage when you drop back down. So, um, that's actually, like, very dangerous. Okay, so that was the Breeze mob, a really cool um, mob, and it can actually drop Wind Charges and Breeze Rods. The Breeze Rod is actually used to make a new weapon, which we're going to be looking at in a second. And the Wind Charge is actually really cool. You can place it down and you will actually like get yeeted in the air. Really cool. I really love this. It's so cool. <laughs> Other than that, that's about it. Uh, that's everything the breeze adds. So let's move on to our next mob. Our next mob is going to be the armadillo. But something that we're also going to take is going to be this wolf spawn egg. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get some bones because I actually need to tame this wolf. <gasps> oh my god. And I also forgot to say that you can actually have more than... well. There are n new dog variants in this game, so it's really cool. So this is the... Wait, um, I don't know which variant this would be, but it's really cool. Let's um, tame them all, why not? You're my dog now. Yes. You too? Okay, we now have three dogs. And, okay, let's take a look at the new mob, which is going to be the armadillo. Um, it looks pretty goofy. Um, but if you get too close, it will actually get startled and go into his shell. Um, what the armadillo can drop is actually armadillo scoots. I think this just drops every, thi every time it, like, sheds its skin. But I've never seen any armadillo do that before, so, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> okay, what you can actually do with these 
scutes is make wolf armor which will give your dog extra armor points so let's put it on our dogs where is the last one right here uh, you can also color this but um, I took the red dye even though they spawn in with that one <laughs> and you can give the oh wait what okay I guess you can't color them you can only color like their color okay that's weird Next up, we have the new trial keys. Um, these are one of my favorite features of the whole entire mod. And we also have the ominous bottle because um, Bad Omen has been reworked into this. So now when you like um, eliminate uh, some sort of pillager captain, I think it is, the one with the flag, you will actually get the ominous bottle. You can also get it from vaults in the trial chambers, but that's like the main way you can get it. Um, what these trial keys are used for is to go up to a vault and click it. Then it will give you some loot. Look at this. Oh my god, what? A diamond pickaxe with a diamond axe with efficiency too? Okay, that's crazy. Wow. But that is not the only one you'll be able to get. You will also be able to get an ominous trial key from um I don't know where you can actually get it from, but I think it's when you have the ominous bottle and you defeat like one of the trials, you have the possibility to get the ominous trial key. And this one will only work on the ominous vaults. Uh, my dogs are in the way, oh my god. Okay, so the one that I placed um, didn't really work, so now we're at another one. We have the bad omen effect and when we click this one, it will give us some really good loot. Look at this. And, wow, four drops. So we got Emeralds, Ominous Bottle, the Arrow of Slowness, and an Enchanted Golden Apple. That's really cool. Okay, next up, we have the new Heavy Core. Um, this thing doesn't really have any function other than to be used in the Mace recipe. But how do you get the Heavy Core? You are actually able to get it from a vault. <laughs> how to get into the vault is by getting... Um, a trial well not really a trial key you just walk up to this one it will get activated and it will start spawning just enemies that are inside well in the middle of this little chamber then after that you have a chance to get the trial key you use it on this and then you have an another small chance to get the heavy core um the heavy core doesn't have any functions besides to be used in this crafting recipe you need a breeze rod and and have and a heavy core to make the mace the mace is really cool because it's a new weapon which can be used um, when you go... Well, it's actually used when you fall down. So, so how am I going to show this off? Um, let's spawn in a zombie. Um, where is a zombie? Right here. So, we have a zombie right here. Let's walk up here and jump. And we did a lot of damage. That was crazy. The higher you actually go up and fall down, the more damage the mace will do. Um, it also has three new enchantments, which is going to be Density, Breach, and Wind Burst. Um, if you use Density, uh, let me take let's take a look at my notes. The Density enchantment will actually give you more falling damage. The Breach one will bypass all armor, and then we have the Wind Burst, which, if you have it equipped, you will actually be able to use like the wind burst when you hit something which is really cool the only thing that also needs to be noted is if you have density you can't use breach and if you have breach you can't use density so keep that in mind when you want to enchant your mace okay now for one of the features that i like the most about this whole new update is going to be the new crafter block so what you can do is you can actually add like materials into this crafting grid and you can take them out with right click you can disable um, slots it's really cool um, so if we wanted to make um, this chest plate and we don't want this slot being filled up by let's say hoppers or something you can just lock this slot in so that nothing can be in here and when you then press the button you get an iron chest plate but if we now um, unlock this button we can just do this and now we get an iron block which is really cool and i'm actually really surprised that they added this into minecraft this feels like just like a modded feature it's really cool and now for our final feature in this um update video 
These are going to be the new paintings. We have a lot of cool new paintings. These are not even all of them, but they look so cool. I especially love this one. And yeah, just let me know in the comments down below which your favorite painting is. And we actually went over almost all of the uh, new features, but we also have three new music discs. And I just wanted to end the video on this one. Let's listen to them. The first one is going to be Creator from Lena Rain. The second one is going to be Pre Precip... Wait, Precip... Uh, I can't pronounce that. By Aaron. And then Creator by also Lena Rain. So let's take a listen. Wow, those sound absolutely... I love the... I like this one more than this one because this one was just straight up nightmare music. But this one is pretty good. And with that, we covered all of the new features from the 1.21 update. I hope you did enjoy it. It was some sort of like different video that, well, I just wanted to make. Um, so if you liked, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like these from me, consider subscribing. And yeah, until the next video, bye bye.